I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. So in the today's session, we are going to start the new beat, that is the drug interaction. We are going to discuss the herb drug interactions and herb food interaction. So I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss the herb drug interactions one of the drug kawa kawa so kawa kawa it is a drug which is being obtained from the piper mithascicum and and uh, it is being grown in the pacific island whatever the pacific islanders are there they are going to drink this uh, the some of the drink which is prepared from the kawa kawa for the state of relaxation like uh, alcohol the kava it means or it seems to be the bitter so kava it is a tall shrub that grows in the pacific island so pacific islanders have traditionally used the kava in the ceremonies to bring about a state of relaxation you can say like alcohol so the name kava means the bitter generally we are using the roots of kava for the medicinal purposes or the health benefit so whatever the drinks which are prepared by using a kava it is being used for the relaxation by the pacific islander so the synonyms of the kava kava that is ava pepper ava root or the ava so these are the some of the synonyms which are being used for the kava then biological source of the kava kava so it consists of the dried roots of a plant piper mithascicum belongings to family piperaceae so here we are using the dried roots of kava for the medicinal purpose so kava kava it is obtained from the dried roots of the piper mithascicum belonging to family piperaceae see the image so that you will understood how the roots looks like whatever the plant is there it's a tall shrub right so moving towards the chemical constituents of the kava kava so here we are using the root so root comprises around 12% of water 43% of starch 20% of fibers and the protein mainly the kava comprises the kava lactones chalcones and uh, other flavones furthermore it comprises the kava pyrones like a uh, kava lactones cavahine yangonine and uh, methasticine along with the mucilage furthermore it contains the piper methastine alkaloid which might be present in the leaf so mainly if you can see the kava kava comprises the starch fibers and protein along with the kava lactones chalcones flavones other flavones pyrones like kava lactones kavahine yangonine and methastine along with the mucilage so this is about the chemical constituents of the kava kava let us move towards the uses of kava kava for what purpose it is being used uh, in the medicine so let us see one by one the uses of the kava kava so it is being used as a diuretic it is used as a urinary antiseptic it is a circulatory stimulant it is a anti spasmodic it is a analgesic then topically as well as internally it is a anesthetic it is a mental stimulant in a large doses and in a small doses it is a depressor so these are the some of the uses of the kava kava or you can say the health benefits of the kava kava in a large quantities topically it is going to act as a rubefacient and as an antifungal furthermore the kava kava might be useful in the treatment of cancer depression common cold respiratory tract infections tuberculosis and the muscle pain if you can see the broadly 
the kava kava it is being used to treat the anxiety restlessness insomnia to relieve the pain it is going to act as anti depressant anti convulsant and uh, muscle relaxing so these are the some of the health benefits and uses of the kava kava so see the bold point that is it is being used as or it is used for used to treat the anxiety restlessness insomnia to relieve pain then anti depressant anti convulsant and uh, muscle relaxing so these many of the uh, medicinal properties are there with the kava kava right moving towards the side effects of the kava kava no doubt it is having a potential health benefit but apart from these potential health benefit kava kava might have certain side effects for example if you are consuming the large quantity of kava kava or as a drink there might be chances of indigestion then the mouth numbness then the skin rash then the headache drowsiness visual disturbance joint pain fatigue abdominal pain loss of appetite nausea vomiting liver toxicity and hair loss these are the some of the side effects of the kava kava if you can see the the side effects maybe it's a something similar to the alcohol right ethyl alcohol isn't it so these are the some of the side effects of the kava kava let us move towards the dosing of kava kava so the it is being used in the doses of 150 to 400 mg by mouth daily for up to 2 years right to get certain health benefits moving towards the precautions of kava kava so kava kava it should be avoided in the pregnancy because it is going to affect the uterus that is the main thing that's why it should be avoided in the pregnancy furthermore it should be avoided in the breastfeeding because we don't have the enough information about the kava kava as you know that it is going to produce the liver toxicity if the patient is having a liver disease one should avoid the kava kava or one should stop taking the uh, kava kava if he or she is suffering from the liver disease in the case of parkinsonism disease uh, one should avoid taking the kava kava because the condition becomes frozen then in the case of surgery kava affects the central nervous system and it might increase the effects of anesthesia and other medication used during and after surgery so one should stop taking a kava kava before should two weeks before scheduled surgery so these are the sudden precautions and warning related with the kava kava let us move towards the drug interactions of the kava kava so very first drug interaction it is related with the alprazolam so when we are taking a kava kava with the alprazolam which may cause the drowsiness as you know that that both the drug maybe we are getting a synergistic effect and that could leads to the drowsiness when we are taking a kava kava along with the tns depressants such as the clonazepam such as clonazepam lorazepam phenobarbital may cause the drowsiness so one should avoid taking of a kava kava with the all tns depressant then one should not take the kava kava with the alcohol because uh, that may increase the chances of liver toxicity as you know that the kava kava may precipitate the sudden liver problems alcohol also it is going to precipitate the or it, it, it induce the liver toxicity so using kava kava with alcohol increase the effects of alcohol to cns and this might cause the drowsiness and mood changes so taking a kava along with alcohol might increase the risk of liver damage so one should not take the kava with the alcohol then the kava kava causes the sleepiness and slowed breathing whatever the kava drinks are there they are going to give the sleepiness isn't it and and which slows the breathing so taking a kava kava with the sedative medications might cause breathing problem and or too much sleepiness so one should not take the kava kava with the 
sedative medication. Then furthermore, the enzyme inhibition types of the drug interaction. So Kawakawa, it is an inhibitor of CYP2C19, CYP2C9, and CYP2E1 substrate. So Kawakawa decreases the liver metabolism of drugs like a clonazepam, cyclobenzoprine, warfarin, and so on, which increases the effects and side effects of the disease. Isn't it? When we are combining the Kawakawa with the warfarin, the metabolism of warfarin, it is going to be decreased. So thereby, there is an increase in the PDC of warfarin and which might lead to the bruising or the bleeding. So one should not combine the Kawakawa with these drugs. As you know that Kawakawa might cause the liver toxicity. So one should not take the Kawakawa with the drugs which produces the liver toxicity. For example, Isoniazide, paracetamol, amiodarone, erythromycin, and so on. So risk of liver toxicity is going to be increased. As you know that one of the major side effects of Kawakawa is the liver toxicity. So one should not combine or one should not take the Kawa with the alcohol as well as the medications which increases the risk of liver toxicity. For example, Isoniazide. Kawa Kawa can decrease the levels of dopamine, isn't it? And you know that in the Parkinsonism, we are prescribing the drugs which increases the penetration of dopamine into the brain, isn't it? For example, Leodopa. So Leodopa affects the brain by increasing the dopamine level. So when we are taking a Leodopa with the Kawa, reduces the effectiveness of the Leodopa. As Kawa Kawa decreases the levels of dopamine. So these are the sum of the drug interactions of the Kawa Kawa. So in this part, we have discussed the synonym of Kawa Kawa, then the biological source, chemical constituents, use as dosage guidelines, precautions and warning, side effects, and the drug interaction of the Kawa Kawa. Okay. These are the references which I have referred to uh, prepare the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you.